Hi everyone, this is Val from Violet Craft Studio. I hope you're having a lovely day today. I'm actually very happy. It's the first day of spring and the winter's finally over, so it's a good day. And today I'd like to show you another one of the boxes of ephemera that I've been making. This one is sewing themed and there's quite a lot of sewing ephemera in here. I do believe there's more than enough for maybe two journals, but that will be up to the person who purchases this are uh, what they want to do with it. So there's the box and you'll see I've just done a little uh, picture on the cover. It's not really decorating the box because this is the packing box. It does go in a, a bag as well but it's not very well protected and so I'm, I'm not trying to embellish the lid. It's just something to you know make it a little bit nicer. So let's have a look at what's in here. So the first thing we have is a box of, uh, sorry, a baggie with things like doilies, serviettes, bits of uh, cardstock and paper. There's some book pages in there um, and, you know, various bits and pieces. There will be as much in here as I can fit. I'm trying to keep the boxes uh, just under 500 grams, so if there's room for a little bit more stuff to go in, I'll certainly be adding it. Uh, as with the other one, we have three loaded pockets. Uh, this one has got three pockets and there's quite a lot of uh, ephemera in those. I think this is quite pretty, little one at the front there and uh, several tags and things that go in it. I'll put all those back later. This one is made with a book page from a sewing book um, and it's quite pretty too. There's several pockets there. Um, there's a big one at the back. And I've just got um, a card in there about uh, needles, the size and uses of different needles. So that's pretty handy information, if not ephemera. And so, yeah, and there's also some other tags and things that go in this one. And I'll just put them all in the front so I don't lose where they're meant to go. But uh, that's the second loaded pocket. And the third one I made out of cardstock. Now, this is my new little design that I really, really love. One of the elements of it is it has this little gazine bag I've made on the, on the front. And you know, there's a few bits and pieces in there. Another little bit about the sewing needles. And that's the little bag itself. So it's got several, you know, inserts in that. Um, so there's four, five, no, one, two, three, four, 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 can't count. Uh, but there's also other stuff. There's something behind and there's two in there and another little one at the front. So, you know, there's quite a lot of stuff in the, in the elements that I've made. There's also two corner pockets. Uh, this one here, which is just made with um, fabric from, uh, sorry, cardstock from a pack that I have, and it's got pattern pieces. So I love that for making pockets in my sewing journals. I often use that. And the other one, it's not a flip up, which I have been doing flip ups, but uh, I might make another one and chuck a flip up in. But this one is just a corner tuck, a corner pocket rather. And it's got a doily and a little die cut on there. That one was still drying, which is why it was set aside. I also have this card, this, uh, I don't know it's actually called a library pocket because it's a bit wider than the norm, but anyway, it's um, got a few, it's got another little pocket in the front and it's got several elements there. Um, I think that's rather cute to stick in the pocket and um, all those as well. So all those things that go in that one and again I'll just put them in and I'm going to get confused about what goes with what. Not that it would matter. The person who per sorry, the person who purchases might decide they like them in a different arrangement anyway. There's also this one, which is the more traditional size and shape of the envelope. Sorry, the library pocket, and it's got a little tuck spot there, a little tuck spot there, and of course the bigger tuck at the back. The big thing at the back. Again, that's a tag made out of that cardstock of uh, patterns. And uh, yeah, there's a few nice images and so forth and so on in there as well. Uh, so there's also a few other little bits and pieces. Um, I've got a pack of these little frames, so I've put two of those in this, in this one. Uh, as well as all the tags that are in the pockets, there's also a set of 11 other tags. I think because with the loaded pockets, we often just stick them down on two sides or one side and the bottom, and there's a tuck spot behind, so you need to have some extra stuff. So some are just generic colours. Some are, I've collaged some um, sewing themed papers onto them. There's three of those. And these are just gorgeous images, um, vintage images of sewing ladies. Very nice. 
and I've just tucked in a couple of these because I've got a pack of those as well just a little on both sides it says memo but they're not very they're a bit flimsy so I usually uh, glue two of them together but they look good sticking out of a pocket as well so yeah 11 tags plus that little jig over there um, extra and there's also a little baggie of um, little cards and die cuts so you know these are the kind of cards that are in it you know there's some that I've um, handmade you know lots of things in there little die cuts at the front um, and there's at least 30 um, cards and die cuts in this little packet I also made two altered paper clips and I need a page now where did my no. Oh dear. Oh, right here, right here. So these go onto a page like that one goes from, from the right and that one goes from the left and what is it? No, I think that's right. And you can put a tuck a card or a tag behind those as well. So that's the two altered paper clips that's in this big pack. There's also a hangover, which I love the hangovers. So you just put these over your page like so and I've given you two little mini pegs to stick on the top if you want to um, but yes yeah, so you've got that on one side and on the other side you've got that beautiful image of a mum sewing while her baby sleeps in the cradle beautiful image and of course I've put um, quite a bit of a little layer several layers of lace across the bottom of various laces so that's the hangover I've also made one of these wrap around envelopes now. This is made with a book page from a quilting book and I've lined it with um, some of Bev's painted paper. This is her coffee stained painted paper, paper and it's just beautiful, I love it. Um, and so I've made it so it's a wrap around so the whole page can be used to write on if needed. But if you wanted to have a more conventional envelope you certainly could just um, glue the sides and have a conventional envelope and it could be embellished further too I just think that the quilting fabric is so pretty I haven't done anything more with it there's also uh, three little envelopes with inserts that kind of match the sewing theme and they've just got some little hand stamped cards in those with the stamp of a button in a couple sizes and this one too has got yeah it's got to be stitching on that one just the faux stitching with my stamp and this little cute die cut one has just got more buttons stamped on it. So there's also a little baggie that's got some um, ribbon, lace and fob trim in it. The eyelash trim rather. I love this white one. It's a bit sparkly although you probably can't see that. It's very sparkly so it's really gorgeous. And I put blue because uh, the colours that I've tried to do with this sort of are based around the blues. There's also a little baggie with a few buttons in, just little cute buttons in there that also are, you know, they're various colours. I've got a yellow one there, so a few, a few little ribbons. I've also made um, three of the altered paper clips with the beads. And they're again in the colours of the blue and the black. There's three of them. Now these can be attached to your journal with a bold pin as well. And I sometimes will do that and just hang them off the lace. But these ones are then a tuck spot as well. If you wanted to, you could put a card. Let's just see. You could put a card behind them on your page as well. And then they just hang off your the edge of your page. You wouldn't use all three at once, of course. I'm just demonstrating them all. So, you know, and you get the three of those. And that's what they look like hanging off your the edge of your book. And you don't have to worry. If you do them this way with a paper clip, you don't have to worry about the bold pin maybe tearing its way because they're reasonably heavy its way off the lace so it's a good way to do them so yeah those three bulb pins are so altered paper clips are included in the pack i can do that later there's also uh the things you need for your journal cover so i've made a sorry fossil about in the box here I've made a cover that is suitable for the cover of your journal. It says journal up the top here and it all says so and so and so faintly in the corner. So that's a journal cover. But because I think it's probable that you could make more than one journal with all this stuff, I've also included just a standard little journal label. So you could find your own 
image for a cover and use the, the label uh, for your journal cover. And because I think you could do two, there are also two versions of um, this book belongs to for inside your cover or wherever you want to put them in the book. There's also a rather generic looking uh, belly band that I found a pack of these somewhere and decided to add them to the to give to somebody. Hope you can use those. So we've also got a couple of little lace holders with lace on them. One's got the pale blue and one's got white lace. And in addition, there's some laces here. There's uh, three crocheted lace doilies and there's a length, so at least a metre of this lace here. It's very pretty. It's not white, it's off-white, just ivory coloured, I guess. So there's at least a metre of that. And there's also a length of this one, which is the flower, is the floral. And these can be used to sort of wrap around a, a journal and embellish the cover, or they can be separated and used as a singular embellishment somewhere. It's very pretty lace. I also made a little mini journal, and it's uh, got the the uh, fabric that's um, sewing related on the cover and I've just put a little embellishment up the top there. Inside there's little tuck spots at the front and also at the back and there's an image on the back as well and the pages in here a lot of these are from Bev's Pagey Paper as well, a bit of cardstock, a bit of lined paper I had floating about and a little bit more of the of the um, papers that I bought and the cover is made with um, handmade paper, although I've covered much of it up. So there you go, and it's tied with a bit of seam binding. I also made a little scrappy notebook with just a few pages in it. It's not really big, but it's just really cute, and I love the look of the scrappy papers. I used to make them all neat and tidy and lined up and straight and even, but I just love the scrappy look. And of course, I've put a piece of that fabric and a bit of lace across the top of it. And that fabric actually matches what my next and last thing is, which is the two scrappies and the snippet roll. So this scrappy has got a beautiful, um, kind of like a button that would maybe come off a pair of jeans. You know, it's quite the metal one. And it's got a little pair of scissors, silver scissors in it. And of course the fabric that I've used throughout the thing. This one doesn't have a charm, it just has a button, but it's got doily and lots of um, layered layered fabrics. So they're very pretty and they match the snippet roll which it's probably, I, I usually under calculate because I said the last one was about 16 to 18 inches, it turned out to be 22. So this one could be uh, 16 inches, so something like that. But it's got a lot of detail on it, it's got buttons and lace and a little bit of um, like tape measure and a little made for you heart and three buttons and here we've got a charm of a sewing machine that's actually on a little, one of those little, I think you call them a swivel hook or something like that. So it could be taken off easily, just unsnapped and put somewhere else easily. And then I, I made this little um, needle holder thing. Uh, the pins are, are sort of like set so they don't stick in you, but you could always take them out and just have safety pins if it became, uh, you know, a danger. But at the moment I haven't noticed that that's happening. A bit more pretty lace. Another pair of scissors down here. A bit of cotton that doesn't belong and then just um, you know a doily and another bit of that um, tape measure ribbon kind of stuff that really works so well with this so there you go there's over a hundred items in here I haven't really counted them but well really when you think that there's 11 tags and 30 die cuts if I count every single item and all the loaded pockets I'm sure there's a lot more than 100 but I haven't really counted and I don't need to I'm sure you can see that there's a lot of stuff in this pack as well with this sewing one so there you go this will be in my Etsy store soon please also be aware that I will be selling some little packs of things that are um, smaller versions of it or, or components of it so for instance I've got um, another set of the scrappy and the snippets in this sewing theme and I will be selling them separately in my Etsy store I will also, pro I already have, I believe, um, some little sets of the die cuts, more extensive set of die cuts than what's in this one, in my Etsy store, and I will also be adding sets of loaded pockets. So if you don't want the whole shebang, um, there will be smaller, smaller um, sections of it put together for, um, for for Etsy for those people who just want a little bit of ephemera, not this whole um, ultimate mega 
a bundle of sewing ephemera. Thank you so much for looking and have a lovely day. Bye now.